Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. Welcome back to Premier League predictions. A day later than usual, my apologies. But yeah, in the previous week, I got 6 out of 11. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, it started badly. I remember checking my phone after the first four games, just like, oh, <laughs> that, that doesn't look good, does it, prediction wise? But I recovered it there, uh, five in a row, then got the Brighton Palace game wrong. And the Leicester game correct. Well, outcome-wise anyway. But I got two exact scores though. You know, six results, two exact scores. It's alright. That, that, that's still a bit uh, still a bit bad, but I'll, I'll take it for sure. I was a goal off Wolves v Leeds. I got it wrong, obviously, but I predicted 1-1. And it was 1-0 to Wolves. So I was a Leeds goal away from uh, getting that right. Uh, not far off. Same thing with this game as well. Santa v Chelsea. Predicted 2-1 to Chelsea and it was 1-1. So, uh... Yeah, <laughs> just missing out there, but obviously wrong. Same situation, I guess. I went 1-0 Burnley against West Brom. It was 0-0. So that's three games. I was a goal off getting the exact score. But in the end, they didn't even get the result. So <laughs> fine margins, fine margins. What's premium insights? What's that? So you get extra details for £2 a month. What is this? It's like a DLC for a prediction website. Anyway, um, <laughs> I got caught off guard there. Liverpool Everton. Um, I went for Liverpool win. I knew they were in bad form. I knew that. But I just looked at previous games. No, not just not looked at. I, I fought the previous games between these two teams at Anfield. And it never goes well for Everton. It never goes well for Everton. So uh, I think this was their first win at Anfield. Since 1999. So, uh, yeah, I did not see this coming. The, the, that's to say the least, you know. There's been years where it looked like they might win. And they just never do. They always seem to choke up there. But this time round, they've gone there and won with a clean sheet. Fair play. Fair play. I know they're in bad form. But still, they usually lose there. So, fair play. Good, Great win for them. But, uh, yeah, obviously I got it wrong. But it's not a bad prediction in my opinion based on what happened at Anfield before, when they played before. Fulham v Sheffield United, a goal off. Predicted 2-0, it was, was 1-0. So, uh, yeah, not, not too bad. That's a good prediction, in my opinion. Uh, West Ham v Spurs, on the first correct score. Uh, predicted 2-1, it was 2-1. Villa v Leicester, again, got it right. Leicester won it 2-1, that's my prediction. Uh, Arsenal v Man City, um, I predicted we'd lose with a clean sheet for City, and that's what happened. But it wasn't that bad. It was. I mean, we still lost, so it's still an L. But we lost one nil, rather than what I predicted, which was three nil. I went for three 0 specifically because we've lost three nil to Man City like four times in the last two years, something ridiculous like that. So I just thought common score line. <laughs> we're not very good this season. City are on fire. Three nil again. But it was only one nil. But when they scored in the second minute, I was, I was very worried. But it didn't get much worse. But we still lost, like I expected. United v Newcastle, a goal off. Predicted 3-0, it was 3-1. I should have gone 3-1. <laughs> I should have gone 3-1. Brighton Palace, technically, like the first couple games, a goal off, but wrong. I predicted 2-2, it was 2 on to Palace. So, uh, yeah, I was a Brighton goal away. I was a Bright I, I, was, I was close enough. <laughs> close enough. Leaves, leaves Hampton, again a goal off. I've been a goal off like six times. What's going on here? <laughs> What's happening? Actually, that doesn't make any sense. No, actually it does. I've been a goal off about six times. What is this nonsense? Uh, I predicted 2-0 to Leeds against Hampton. It was 3-0. I could have had a mad match day. I was a goal off in so many games. That's crazy. What? This, that's one, two, three. Uh, what else? Four. Five, six, seven games. Seven games, really. I could have got nine correct scores. I, I, talk about fine margins. Talk about fine margins. Can you imagine if I did that, though? That would have been mad. <laughs> you would not have heard the end of that. <laughs> you would not have heard the end of that, but it didn't happen. It, it is what it is. On to match day 26. Man City, I think, will beat West Ham. I mean, West Ham are playing well, of course. But Man City are Man City. I'm going to say 2-0 though. I'm going to say 2-0. But they'll win. City will win. I'm going to say, I'm going to say clean sheet as well. Uh, West Brom v Brighton. Hmm. 
obviously, judging by this, you wouldn't rely on them, would you? But I feel like Brighton at home is a game they could win. I feel like it's one of the games where they could actually get three points. But I'm not confident enough to back them. But I don't think Brighton will go there and win. So, for me, it's going to be a draw. Yes, nil-nil again. Just, just a dead nil-nil. Uh, we'll see. But, uh, yeah. I feel like it's risky at the same time, but I feel like having West Brom winning is risky as well. I feel like any result is a risk, prediction-wise. <laughs> Never mind. We'll, we'll see what happens, but I'm sticking with a draw. Leeds v Aston Villa. Uh, I'm going to go for a 2-1 to lead Newcastle Wolves. I'm going to say 2-2. I don't know why. Newcastle are not... They're having a terrible season. But for some reason, I'm, I'm thinking they're going to get a draw. I don't know what it is. I think, I must have got, I think I'm going mad. I think I'm going mad. But I'll take the risk. All right, 2-2 between Newcastle and Wolves. Palace v Fulham. Bit of a London derby. Uh, it's not really a fierce rivalry, rivalry though, is it? Still, derby nonetheless. Um... Honestly, I'm not sure. I feel like Fulham have been playing better compared to the start of the season, for sure. With Palace, I feel like they're very up and down. Like, they can definitely play well and win games, but they also <laughs> lose a lot of games. I mean, just look at that. It's almost balanced. <laughs> One nine and lost 11. Um... I'm going to say draw. I've gone for too many draws in this in this match day, but I'm gonna, for some reason I'm picking draw. Yeah, one one between Palace and Fulham. Leicester v Arsenal. Um, look, I, I want to be confident. Uh, we just beat Benfica. That's nice, but we only just beat them. <laughs> we almost got knocked out actually a few minutes away. But um, that's a different competition. I think Leicester out as well. That, that shocked me a lot. I didn't think they'd be knocked out of the Europa League, but somehow they have been. Um, we both played on Thursday night, so I don't think there's going to be any, like, you know, tiredness issues. We played at home, of course. So did they, actually. I, d I don't know. Half the time, I don't know what I say. <laughs> uh, Leicester, I think, unfortunately, I think they'll win. But I hope I'm wrong. I really do hope I'm wrong. But I'm going to go for 2-0 Leicester. <laughs> please, Arsenal, prove me wrong, please. Just for once. <laughs> <laughs> Prove me wrong. Uh, Spurs v Burnley. Um, Spurs are in bad form, of course. But uh, surely they'll win this one. Surely. <laughs> I know they've lost five of their last six. Alright, I, I get that. I see it. Yeah, I see that. But... <laughs> they early win is West Brom as well. That's crazy. The other one, Sheffield United. Yeah, two teams at the bottom. Okay, <laughs> there are two wins here against the two bottom teams. Right, M makes sense. Uh, we're we're at Burnley anyway. They're not they're not that far off the bottom, <laughs> position wise anyway. Um, nah, I'm still gonna stick with the Spurs win. I feel like this is one of those games that they, that they will win and and can win. Uh, Burnley at home, I think it's winnable for them. If Burnley win there i mean it'd be, i'd enjoy it sure but i'd be surprised I'd, I'd be very surprised i'm gonna say two nil gone for that score line a bit too often yeah i've done that three times now it's great i'll stick with it chelsea man united oh that's this weekend okay well that's a super sunday now that right there is a super sunday um Chelsea have improved their form as of late. Man United obviously have had a very good season so far. A few mishaps, but you know, doing a lot better than I thought they'd do. Um, I think they'll be in the top four as well, uh, with City and whoever the fourth place is. <laughs> Definitely won't be us. Um, it's at Stamford Bridge, of course. Doesn't mean Chelsea will win. It just it just means they got a, got an advantage. Um, I want to go for a draw, 
But when I go for too many draws, I'm just like, should I should I go for this many draws? It is possible. You know what? I'm just gonna be in a screw it. You know, let's let's just let's just do it and see what happens. All right, free free. <laughs> A repeat of that game from like 2011, 2012, or whatever season that was when United came back from final down. That that game again, yeah, <laughs> that game again. Sheffield United v Liverpool. Um, uh, <laughs> I, I kept saying the last like few weeks, Liverpool won't lose this. <laughs> Liverpool won't lose this, <laughs> and they've lost. The last time they won was West Ham and Spurs. Lost to Burnley. Do I trust 19th place though? Or is it, is it even, it's 20th. Do I, do I trust the bottom place team to beat Liverpool? I get they've been losing to everyone, but come on. Hmm. <laughs> I might go 1 0 Liverpool. No. No, 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 no. 1-1. One, one. Gonna go 1-0 one, no Sheffield in a second. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure. I should say Sheffield United, actually. Uh, sorry, Wednesday fans. Um, I'm actually not sure, because Liverpool should beat them. Sure. <laughs> it's based on the table, especially, but also they're in bad form, and they're not playing well. And I'm pretty sure even they believe that the, that the league is gone. I think, I think Marnie, who said that in a... In a in an interview, I think. But still, um, <laughs> it's hard to back them, but it's hard to back them as well. So what do I do? They're at home, so draw. <laughs> Great logic, David. Everton, Southampton. Um, Everton. This is this is the game they'd lose, though, wouldn't they? This is the game they'd lose. They always lose games that you think they'll win. But yeah, 2-0 to Everton. 2-0 to Everton. Um, I've gone for either draw or 2-0 to win too many times. Uh, Man City v Wolves. Man City, oh, this is a game in hand, isn't it? Yeah, it's a game in hand. 3-0 uh, to Man City, I think. Well, the Wolves do, do do well against Man City, so it should be interesting. But City on form, I think, will be fine. Burnley v Leicester. I'm going to go for a cheeky 1-0 Burnley. It's going to backfire, but screw it. Risks are there to be taken. There's a lot of games. Jeez, how many games are there in total? All these games in hand. What's going on? Liverpool-Chelsea at the end of it as well. How many games is it? I'll check in a second. Uh, Sheffield United v Aston Villa. Uh, I'm going to go for a 1-0 Sheffield United win. No, a 2-1 Aston Villa win. Yes, a 2-1 Aston Villa win. Crystal Palace Man United I think will be a 2-0. 2-1. 1 Man United win. Yes, I change my mind every two seconds now. Less than that. West Brom Everton. This should be Everton win, I think. 3-1 also. Fulham Tottenham. Um... Draw, draw, 1-1 one, one draw. And Liverpool-Chelsea, also draw, 2-2 two, two, draw. I am not confident about most of these, honestly. Apart from the City ones, I, I don't know. <laughs> I could get a lot of these wrong. But we'll see, you know, we'll see. 2-2 two, two between Liverpool and Chelsea, 1-1 one, one between Fulham and Tottenham, 3-1 Everton, 3-0 Man United, 2-1 Aston Villa, 1-0 Burnley, 3-0 Man City, 2-0 Everton, 1-1 one, one between Chelsea United and Liverpool, 3-3 three, three between Chelsea and Man United, 2-0 Spurs, 2-0 Leicester, 1-1 one, one between Crystal Palace and Fulham, 2-2 two, two between Newcastle and Wolves, 2-1 Leeds, 0-0 no, no between West Brom and Brighton, and 2-0 no, Man City. How many games is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 7, it's a mega match day! We got 17 games. Unreal. I'm glad I stopped there. If I scroll any further, my email's there. For some reason, they put your email at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> Do you want to send it to your email? No. I literally see it on my screen, mate. I don't need it. Anyway, uh, yeah. This is your boy, Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. And goodbye. <laughs>